Fifth grade. Thanks for joining me today. During writing, we're going to be talking about a certain type of review. Last week, we learned about the different parts of a review. We had our introduction, which also had our opinion. Then we would give reasons, which are the star and glue. We provide lots of details, which is a meat. And then we would tie it all together with our conclusion at the end. We use different colors. We had red, green, and yellow. We used our green for our introduction, opinion, and conclusion when we tied it all together. Yellow for our reasons telling us to slow down. And red telling us to stop and give more details. This week, we're going to be doing a movie and or book review. Today, I'm going to be reading a movie review with you as you follow along stopping along the way to color the different parts of the review. In this review though, there's something a little different. Book and movie reviews have something called a sneak peek. A sneak peek is when you give details from the book or movie that would make the reader want to watch the movie or read the book. But when you give a sneak peek, you don't spill the beans. That's another way of saying don't give away the ending. Would you want to read a book if you already knew how it ended? Or watch a movie if someone told you the ending spoiled it for you? Probably not. So we're going to make sure we give sneak peeks, but we don't spill the beans. I want you guys to tell me when to stop while reading this, when you find the sneak peek. Now remember, the sneak peek gives details. And if I had to think of what color to use when I find details, it would be red. Are you guys ready to begin? Okay. When you open up your writing packet, remember your writing packet is the orange packet that says writing on it, and turn to the page that says my review of Frozen. It looks just like this. Okay. My review of Frozen by student A. It looks like student A gave it five stars. That's the best rating. Let's read why Frozen was given five stars. Okay. Are you looking for a new movie to see? Have you seen the movie Frozen? If you haven't, you should see it now. I'm going to stop. I'm stopping because the first few sentences have our introduction and opinion in it. It says, are you looking for a new movie to see? Have you seen the movie Frozen? You're trying to get your reader to keep reading with your introduction. So we're going to be using our green to underline. Are you looking for a new movie to see? Have you seen the movie Frozen? I read one more sentence. I said, if you haven't, you should see it now. That's my opinion. I'm telling you that I think you should go see the movie. So I'm going to take my green and also underline. If you haven't, you should see it now. I'm going to put a heart next to my opinions just in case I forget. So this is what my paper looks like now. Here's my heart and here are my three sentences underlined in green. I'm going to keep reading. It will make you laugh and cry and sing along with all the awesome tunes. We're going to stop. Now I've given a reason why you should see the movie. So we're going to slow down with yellow. It will make you laugh and cry and sing along with all the awesome tunes is the reason to see the movie. So now my paper looks oops, like that. I'm going to keep going. It is about a princess named Elsa who has magical powers and runs away because she accidentally made it winter in her town. Let's stop. Have you guys figured out what this sentence is? Would it be reason or detail? I agree. I think it's a detail from the movie Frozen. It's telling you what's happening in the movie. It is about a princess named Elsa who has magical powers and runs away because she accidentally made it winter in her town. So I'm going to take my red and I'm going to underline that detail of the movie. A 
Have you guys guessed what kind of detail this is yet? It's the sneak peek. This is starting to tell you details from the movie that would make the reader want to watch it. Let's keep reading and see if the next sentence also is part of the sneak peek. Her sister Anna tries to find her and bring her, flip the page with me, back to town so she can change it into summer again. This is another detail of what happens in the movie. So I'm going to take my red again and underline her sister Anna tries to find her and bring her, flip the page, back to town so she can change it into summer again. So now on my first page, I highlighted or I underlined in red and then I flipped the next page and I finished my sentence in red. This is a great sneak peek because it tells you what happened and who's in the movie, but it didn't spill the beans. Let's keep reading. Along the way, you meet a snowman named Olaf who will make you laugh and laugh and laugh some more. Flip stop. The writer has now given you another reason on why you should watch the movie. So you're going to meet a snowman named Olaf and he's going to make you laugh. It's telling you that this is a funny movie. So we're going to slow down with yellow and underline. Along the way, you will meet a snowman named Olaf who will give, who will make you laugh and laugh and laugh some more. And now my paper looks like this. He is so funny. He sings a song about summer that is so silly because he is a snowman. Stop. So the, the writer slowed down with telling you about Olaf being funny, but now they gave you the details on why he's funny. So I'm going to take my red and start to underline, he is so funny, he sings a song about summer that is so silly because he is a snowman. The detail is adding more to why Olaf will make you laugh and laugh and laugh. Let's keep going. I don't want to ruin the ending for you. We don't want to spill the beans. But Anna, Elsa, and sorry, Anna, Elsa, Olaf, and the other characters will keep you entertained the whole time you are watching. Let's stop. So they're not spilling the beans. So we're gonna keep using our red because this is the end of the sneak peek. And underline, I don't want to ruin the ending for you, but Anna, Elsa, Olaf, and the other characters will keep you entertained the whole time you are watching. A lot of red on this page right now. Let's keep reading. I promise you won't get bored. Go home right now and ask your parents to get you this movie. Heat up some popcorn, sit on the couch, and enjoy. We're gonna stop. Now the writer is telling you what to do and tying it to the beginning where it said that you should watch this movie. When we tie it together, it's part of our conclusion. This one has two parts. It tells you what to do, go home and watch the movie, and it said its opinion again that you should go home and watch the movie. So I'm going to underline in green, I promise you won't get bored. Go home right now and ask your parents to get you this movie. Heat up some popcorn, sit on the couch, and enjoy. Now my paper looks like this. So in this review of Frozen, the writer gave five stars. The writer's opinion is that you should watch the movie Frozen because you'll laugh and cry and sing along. It gave you the sneak peek about who's in it and what it's about. It gave you another reason about a character being funny, Olaf, and more reasons and detail on why he's funny. Then it didn't spill the beans. 
but ended with a conclusion telling you to go home and watch this movie now. All right, friends. Tomorrow, we're going to start writing our own review of a book or a movie. So before you get ready to do that, I want you to put on your thinking caps and think of maybe your favorite movie or book that you'd want to convince somebody else to read. All right. Awesome job. Bye, friends.